guys. So it is the day after we got back from Vegas. And as you can see behind me, whoop, this way is probably a better view. We still need to unpack. Basically, we got home, dropped everything, and we both like laid down for the rest of the day. We were exhausted. Vegas was so much fun. If you guys missed that vlog, you should definitely check it out. I should say Vegas and Arizona because half the time we were in Kingman with Trevor's family. I mean, we were with them the whole time, but like we were at their house in Kingman half the time. But like I said, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things today. Feeling very groggy and stuff. Like I'm having a hard time motivating. I didn't work out. I decided like the second I woke up, I'm like, I'm not working out. Today is not the day to get back on that. But I'm trying to work with this water here. I'm still at the top and it's like three o'clock. So <laughs> we'll see how I do. Obviously I didn't bring this jug with me on vacation cause that would have been like completely insane. But I wish I had brought something with me because I was dehydrated all trip because I'm so used to drinking a full gallon of water. But anyways, I just wanted to sit down really quick because a lot of packages came in while I was gone and I got some interesting stuff yesterday. So I just wanted to like kick off this vlog by sharing all of the things that like trickled in while we were out. The first order was from Urban Outfitters and you guys already saw one of the items. I got the five minute journal. I've been really, really wanting this. Neatson Raider always raves about this and I'm really into it. I really like the format of this. I like that it's quick. It has like daily quotes up at the top that are just kind of like motivating. And then it's like a day and night thing. So in the morning, you just take a few minutes right here. You write down what you're grateful for, what would make today great and daily affirmations. And then on the bottom here for the nighttime, I think it's, yeah, three amazing things that happened today and then how could I have made today even better so I like that it's nice and quick but it gives you a good mindset so I'm looking to start doing that daily and then I actually also want to get there's a productivity one that looks so good and made by the same company which what company is this it's just the five minute journal but they also make like a daily productivity one and I just like really really want that one so I got that while I was out then in that same order I also finally got this Van Halen oversized graphic tee that everybody has. I got it in the yellow. It's not like a true yellow, it's like a washed out cream, but everyone I'm sure you guys have seen has this t-shirt and I finally got it. I wanted another one and the ones I was looking at were like dark gray, which most of my oversized t-shirts are dark gray. So I was like, okay, it's time. Let's finally get the Van Halen one. I've had it on my freaking wish list for forever. So finally got that one. And then while I was out too, <laughs> you guys, if you watched my vacation haul, you know what I'm irritated about right now. My Princess Polly order with half of my outfits for Vegas came in the mail. But it's fine, it's fine, it's okay. I may have a weekend trip coming up in the next couple months that I might save these for, so it's fine. We're fine. It's okay. But I'll still show you guys what I got. The first one is from Lioness, and this is a little bodysuit from them. It's just like a black bodysuit. Oh, I didn't realize that was that deep of a thong. Okay. But anyways, it's this black bodysuit, and it's like a bustier style. You guys know that's very, very in right now. And I thought that this was black, but this looks more of like a deep, deep navy. So I'm not mad at it. I'm excited. I can't wait to wear this. I, ooh, I like that it's adjustable straps in the back and these are thick too, because I'm not wearing a bra with this. I'm in a phase right now where I'm like, I don't want to wear a bra. I just don't, you can't convince me to, I don't want to. And then I also got a skirt it's lioness as well and it's in this oatmeal color and it's just like a little a-line skirt with a little slit here you guys know the style is pretty popular right now and the material on it is really really nice it's like this woven linen-y material really pretty just a good staple skirt to have and these come in like multiple colors they come in black it comes in white I think like there's a pink, it comes in so many colors. But those two together were supposed to be one of my outfits for Vegas. Uh, and then this was supposed to be another outfit. This was just like a green romper. And this one was like probably fine that it didn't come in because honestly, I can't find the belt that I wanted to pair with this. So this is what the romper looks like. It looks really plain, but I had envisioned pairing my gold chain belt with this to dress it up. And I think it would have been so freaking cute. But like I said, I couldn't find the chain belt. So I, I guess that one just kind of works out, but I do hope to find the chain belt eventually because I do want to wear this outfit for something 
but there's that one and then this was just like an extra dress that i was just gonna bring as just like an extra outfit or just to have in my closet because this to me is just like a good like cute staple dress but this is like this pink tie-dye ribbed dress and then it has ruching on the sides just like a really good easy classic just like summery kind of cami dress to just throw on when you know maybe you just don't want to be in jeans and a tank top you just want to throw on a dress and make it easy on yourself then i also got a box in from statusphere this is just like pr they sent me this journal another journal but this is good because i need a new notebook for work so this works out this is just like this little floral journal and it's one of those like dotted grid journals so if you wanted to bullet journal you could my brain doesn't work like that i would get excited about bullet journaling for like a day and i do like all these designs on like the first five pages and then i would abandon it i know myself and then this next item is a really really cool so this is the crazy cap water bottle this is more for like when i'm out and about obviously i wouldn't use this as my daily because this guy's my daily and i love it but this first off i mean how bougie is this is a water bottle that comes with its own little bag like that's so cool but here's what the water bottle looks like i just got the plain white one and it has this cap on it and then this is the charger for it and this cap will actually sanitize your water so you can get water from like the tap or whatever and this will sanitize your water so you can drink from pretty much any source so that is really really cool it says here on the back so chemical free sterilization technology it's actually like uv technology that it uses so it's clean and you don't need to just use it on the water bottle you can use it in other like surfaces and stuff and it does microbial sterilization up to 99 0.999%. That's pretty good. And it also just like cleans your bottle too. So it photo cleans your bottle so you don't have to like worry about trying to like scrub all the way down to the bottom, which is nice. And then the UVC LED lasts up to 10 years, which is pretty awesome. And then this is also really great because if you are in an emergency or something and you need water and you don't have a clean water source, this can for sure really come in handy. And I don't know why it's lit up right now. It's blue right now. Are you sanitizing yourself? might be sanitizing itself but yeah so that is pretty freaking cool and then this is the little charger for it and then they also just threw in just like a couple of masks for fun this one is from frutia and it's the natural hydration blueberry hydrating mask so this one's a sheet mask so is the other one this one is from esfolio and this is the honey essence mask and this one delivers abundant moisture and nourishment deep into your skin so that's those two and then the last box is the one that I've been waiting for for forever. I'm not gonna try any of these on, but I will show you which ones I got. The Desi sunglasses finally came in. They actually came in this morning, so I was really worried about these coming in while we were away on vacation. I mean, our neighbors were taking in our mail for us, but I was really nervous, like, I was like, if these get left out on my porch and they get stolen, I will die. But here is what the inside of the box looks like. It's really cool. And I got three styles and I'm not going to try them on. I will show them to you really quick. But if you guys want to see what they look like on, you may see them throughout this vlog. But I will have a try on that goes up before this vlog where I'll actually be trying on the sunglasses with Trevor. We were inspired by Katie and John. So you guys should definitely check that one out. I feel like that one's going to be a fun one for sure. The first style that I got is fall back. These are like the oversized ones. I'm not going to comment on how the quality feels or anything like that. You guys will just have to go to that video and watch it. And then the next one are the aviators top shelf. And I got these in a silver. And I tell you guys why I decided to go for the silver in the try on video. And then lastly, of course, I had to get on red which is a very 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 different type of style and shape for me and the one that i was the most nervous about so again if you guys want to see what these look like on you want to know what my thoughts are on them as far as quality style all of that stuff goes definitely check out that video i will have it linked somewhere on the screen as well as in the description below again it's like a don't miss type of video because just imagine trevor trying on those on red sunglasses I'm excited. I am so excited to film that. We're not going to be doing that today just because I'm too lazy to wash my hair so that I look nice for the video. But we'll probably do that in a couple of days when he's on his weekend from work. So yeah, that was everything that I got in the mail while we were gone. But for right now, I'm going to keep finishing up on work. And then actually tomorrow, guys, look at these nails again. 
if you watched the last vlog, you know I tried to get my nails done in Arizona and the place that we were trying to get my nails done at didn't have dip powder. So I saw on Instagram a notification from my nail salon that they were now gonna be moving their surfaces outdoors so that they could reopen. And I'm so, so, so excited. So I made an appointment, they just confirmed it and they are gonna let me go with my nail girl. I'm so happy about that because like when I was first trying to make the appointment a couple of days ago, it was saying like, you just kind of have to get whatever nail tech is available. And I was like, no. I don't have my girl I'm gonna leave the appointment and like that's not me being dramatic every other girl that I've gotten to get my dip powder done from has cut my skin with a nail drill except for her and she's like bumped me a couple times and when she does bump me on accident she's so apologetic like she feels so bad and like I just appreciate that like level of care that she has and then also too she is like the best nail tech at doing shapes like hands down she is so meticulous so detail oriented she like lines up every single nail looks at it front and back makes sure that everything is absolutely even and i'm just like oh you guys i'm so excited to see her i also need to get my hair done at some point i need to talk to my neighbor but the nail thing i just i can't wait for tomorrow like i'm so excited so that's all the reason why i'm gonna wait a couple days to film the desi video which like doesn't really matter to you guys because like you guys would have seen it before this vlog if you are subscribed to me but i just don't want my nails to be like a hot mess in that video okay you guys oh shit trevor used my car this morning i forgot i'm like <laughs> Ugh. okay there we go let me prop my phone up here okay you guys but today is the day Getting my nails done, you guys. I'm fixing these. Thank Jesus. I just, oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. This motherfucker, this is not one of the radio stations on my preset. What are you doing here? See, this is why you can't let your significant other borrow your car if you guys don't like the same music. That's why they shouldn't be allowed. But I am so excited to see my girl, Stella. She's my nail tech over at Blue Nail Spa. Just like, she is like the best. So yeah, I'm really excited to see her. It's been a while. I, I need her so bad. And I mean, it's just really at this point with like what a struggle my nails have been lately, it's gonna take all my strength not to hug her. I'm not going to, but just like that is how much I missed her and how excited I am to see her and fix these. Like, this is just like, I gotta stop showing these to the camera because honestly, these nails are embarrassing. So I can't wait for her to fix them. Okay, you guys, so I just rolled up in here. I'm just going over like the rules because I kind of forgot. Obviously, I have to wear a mask while I'm getting my nails done, but I think the rule is I cannot go in there until my actual nail appointment. So I'm just kind of sitting out here in the parking lot. I took advantage of the downtime and I recorded an extra clip that I needed for my Vegas what I eat in a day and of course as soon as I left I got emails for work you know it's just how it goes okay so I can't go in there early and then I have to check into the kiosk bring a mask so I think I'm also oh god you guys, I need a pee. That's why I'm really squirming. So since I have a few minutes before my appointment starts, I'm going to go do that so that I'm not squirming around when she's doing my nails. <laughs> could legit cry right now look at them they're so beautiful <laughs> I went with white just because white is definitely a color I cannot do on my own typically unless I'm just like feeling super fun I usually go for like a soft pink or something kind of nude but I've been wearing nude for the last two months and it's looked terrible because I was doing it so I am loving the white it's nice and fresh Ugh, and you guys look at the shape work on here she is just like I swear to god she's the best she is so 
amazing when it comes to like shaping your nails. She's like so meticulous and detail oriented and just like, I can't. They just like look so, so freaking good. And I just, ugh, I love them. But anyways, I also decided to pick up some Blaze Pizza since I was right by one. So first off, I got some pesto garlic knots. These are so good, you guys. Like, focus. There we go. I really, really want to eat them right now, but like, I'll be nice. I don't wait to get home and get them to Trevor. And then I'll show you guys my pizza. Yes. So this is my pizza. I think I've showed it to you guys before because I've definitely eaten Blaze pizza on my vlogs before. But in case you're new, this pizza has pesto, the Ovalini mozzarella, which is like the balls of mozzarella, a ton of Parmesan, a ton of black olives, as you can see, and I'm sure is no surprise to anyone. Then just some tomatoes and then fresh basil on top. So that is my order. And then I just have like basically a pepperoni and mushroom pizza for Trevor, but. Oh, you guys, I just, I feel so good. I can't stop staring at them. They look so good. We went like a little bit short just because I had some broken nails, which is fine. We only had to put a tip on one, which was this one, cause it was like really, really short, but we basically cut down to the length of like my second shortest nail. And then I know white can be tricky because it can kind of like yellow over time, but this is more of a cool white. So I'm hoping that that'll, you know, contradict any yellowing, but still, even if it gets too yellow, luckily they are no longer in danger of shutting down because they made the outside area. But for my appointment, I actually got to go inside, which was kind of nice. They asked me if I minded going inside and I didn't. The way my nail salon is, is like it's sectioned off. There's like different rooms because if like someone's allergic to acrylic, that way they can like escort them to like one of the rooms that doesn't use acrylic. So because they have these different rooms, they can have a few people inside. They said up to like two customers per room plus like your nail tech so I wasn't in the tent that I showed you guys but inside they only have like one seat per table and then there's a plexiglass divider that like acts like a cubicle to divide you from like if someone's beside you which no one can be since there's only one seat but also divides you from the nail tech and there's like a little hole cut out so that you can you know stick your hands through so that she can do your nails but it was a great experience I'm so happy I was so thrilled to see Stella again. I was telling her that like they had tried to schedule me with some random like first available nail tech and I was like absolutely not. It has to be Stella. I will literally walk out of my appointment if it's not. She was like oh thank you. I was like no you're just the best. You spoiled me. I can't go to anyone else now. So just super crazy freaking stoked about my nails and then also really stoked because I got some pizza that's making me so hungry so i cannot wait to get home hey you guys so it is god what day is it i have been off like because we got back on a monday and i was like not working that day so i'm like what day is it it's i wanted to say wednesday but it's thursday and trevor went on a walk and just texted me and asked me if i wanted sushi and i was like of course when do i ever not want sushi so he's getting that we just finished filming the desi sunglasses try on so we just finished with these guys but now that I'm thinking about it, that video is up before this. So you guys will have already seen it. If you didn't see it, you should definitely check it out. It was actually quite hilarious. Our favorites are these ones. These are the top shelf. I got them in silver, but here I'll try them on for you guys in here. Here's what they look like on little sneak peek in case you missed that video. Hopefully this will entice you to go watch it if you didn't. But yeah, these are cute. But yeah, now that he said something about sushi, now I'm like hungry. I wasn't hungry. And now I am. I'm like, where is my sushi? Oh yeah. I just pick on food. <laughs> Trevor just came home with some sushi for us. Yay, thanks babe. Mm -hmm. Spartacus, none for you. And then I'm just making some Asian pickled cucumber for my veggie. Really quick. Okay, so here are the Asian pickled cucumbers. It's just cucumbers, obviously, and then rice vinegar, and then just some sesame seeds, and seriously, you guys, this is so good. The longer it marinates, the better it is, but it's still good even when it's fresh. Okay, so I got tuna nigiri, shrimp nigiri, some sesame chicken, and then just some white rice, and then the pickled cucumbers are my veggie.
guys. So, God, that's good. I just got done working out and I was so excited to make my smoothie. I was almost like, I don't want to shower, I just want to make my smoothie. But then I was like, no, I'll feel better. I won't feel as rushed enjoying my smoothie if I just shower now. So I've been waiting for this for a little while now. Oh my god, that's so good. Anyways, so I have some things to unbox, but like before we got to that, I just wanted to like do a little, I guess like catch up, like what's the word? Update on how I'm doing in this pandemic situation. I've just seen like a few vloggers talk about it in like the last few weeks because this has clearly gone on longer than any of us anticipated. And I was like into the check-ins because like I was thinking about it. I'm like, how am I really doing? Like I do feel like sometimes my life is just extremely repetitive. I mean, I'm unboxing again in this video, but truthfully overall, I'm fine. I feel like in an odd way, my personality and like who I am, was built for this. I am extroverted, so I do prefer to be around people, but I'm also like a homebody. Like I enjoy it when there's people at my place and I'm hanging out with them. So being home all the time has not been a problem for me. And then, you know, I have Trevor home, so I have someone home with me for the most part. And then there is a small tight group of friends that I am willing to see right now. So it's not always just Trevor that I'm seeing. I do see other people once in a while. Obviously that little getaway to Vegas and Arizona was really nice and a good change of pace so that was helpful for me just because the thing that I like get most I guess bored with is just the repetitiveness but also too I'm very much a creature of habit I like to be on a schedule I like to know exactly like what's coming up like when I make plans with someone I need to know what's coming up because I, I just need to know what the schedule is so in some ways this works out for me because I'm geared towards you know just doing the same thing every day but I do find myself getting bored or frustrated especially with things that I'm used to doing that I can't do right now I will say I am more bummed this week than other weeks just because this is the week that we would have been getting back from Europe and we honestly still don't have that rescheduled. The travel agency won't let us because they just don't know if by next June we'll be able to travel and also if anything will be open worth traveling to. So that's just kind of like been a bummer thing that like I realized this week was that like today I would have been in Europe. But I will say Vegas and Arizona very very much helped to make up for that and also we got to spend quality time with family that we don't normally see so that was really really nice but yeah I just thought it'd be nice to do like a little check-in like I said for the most part I'm okay I think that too I got very very lucky and that's why I'm pretty okay you know I was able to keep my job in fact I even like it better because I'm working from home so in that sense when it came to this situation I do recognize I was very very blessed I know that there were a lot of people out there who weren't able to keep their jobs got demoted you know obviously Trevor was in that situation where he didn't get to keep his job but he is starting a new job I don't know how many of you guys know he actually finished the program to be a teacher so he's gonna be teaching this fall which is very exciting so he's been working on like lesson plans and, and his syllabus and stuff like that and then also too a thing that helped me personally is YouTube it just helped to keep me busy I'm lucky that I have something that I'm so passionate about that does require a lot of my time so that filled up a lot of the time for me like anytime I wasn't working on work for the most part I was working on YouTube so that was really nice to have that plus we were doing like improvements around the house you know we put up some shelves that are absolutely not styled so that's another thing I get to work on but I would say YouTube was like a huge huge help to keep me from going crazy because I'm just the type I need to stay busy I just I need to have a project at all times so between YouTube the home improvements and also like you guys know I've been like working out and trying to like eat better and stuff like that's a project in itself so between those projects plus work I feel like I've been fine the only thing I'm missing is like having a big gathering with friends or like going out to brunch which is something that we can do now as long as the place has outdoor seating we can absolutely do that and now that I'm thinking about it, the other thing that I was just missing this whole time was getting my nails done but now I can get my nails done so I feel like I'm in a good place but I know not everybody is so this check-in is also like checking with you guys like how are you doing Spartacus is bored and hot but just like leave a comment down below let me know like how are you doing right now with like the fact that this has gone on so much longer than we anticipated because I know that like this seems one-sided a lot of the times but I do care like how you guys are doing so feel free to leave a comment down below 
chat with me. Feel free to unload down there if you want to. I'm definitely a good listener. But anyways, let's move on to something more fun. I have two packages. One came in last night, one came in today that I did want to show you guys. The first one just came in a little while ago and I got a new package from ColourPop. Got a few things from them that I just wanted to share with you guys really quick here. And I will be using most of these in an upcoming video that I'm gonna film. I'm gonna do like a get ready with me glow up type of video. So you'll see me use a lot of these in there. So the first one is Brink in their lippy pen and or lippy pencil, geez. And he, oh my God, stop swaying. Anyways, oh my god, okay. Well, here it is, and let me get up close here where you guys can see. Just like a nice mid-tone kind of pink. I feel like I'm getting back into lip liners, so that's why I wanted this. All I have are MAC, and I just like want to try other formulas. And then I got two of their Lux Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. I haven't tried this formula from them before, so I was very curious. I do like their original liquid lipstick formula, but these just like... I mean, can we talk about this packaging? Just so stunning. But this one is in the color Room Service, and this is like more of a brownie nude, I guess, kind of a color. So, ooh, this feels more... Okay, so if it's velvet, this is not going to dry, which is fine. But here is that color, almost more of like a terracotta tone. Really, really nice. I feel like come fall, which like, can we talk about the fact that fall is like almost here? That'll be a nice one. And then this other one is Puddin. So this one's kind of like a deep pink color with like a little bit of a, again, a terracotta undertone on it next to it. So yeah, it's definitely more of like a pinkier, rosier version of that other lipstick. So that's their two Velvet Lux lipsticks. And then I got one of the Lux glosses. Or wait, no, it's a Lux lip oil. And this one is in the color Playa Vista. And like really quick though, look at this carton packaging. So cute. What is the name of this collection? I think this is like their wild collection or something like that. I got two things from that collection. I didn't even know it was like a new launch. I just like went on their site and I was like, ooh, these are cute. Ooh, look at the top on this. So cute. How fun. Here is the gloss. Come on. So it's very, very sheer, but it's like a sheer nude. I thought that that would just like go really, really nice over top of things. I actually want to go ahead and put it on. Not wearing any makeup. I love like a gloss with a no makeup face. Ooh, cute, cute, cute. Okay, so I feel like I have like the fan going on beside me. I feel like I'm all windblown right now. I'm just like, yes. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, moving on. I also got a freckle pen. I finally gave in and I want to attempt to do a freckle look, but I was bummed. I want it in the lighter brown. They only had dark brown left. Let's see. Oh, okay. So there it is, that little tiny line on top. I don't know, I like, I've never done freckles. Oh, this is cute. Obviously I would do it better a different time, but this is like really cute. Oh my gosh. I think it is, I can't see that well on the monitor, but nice. I feel like I should go. Ah, this fan's drying out my contact. Okay. Anyways, I'll play around more with that and actually like apply it correctly. And then lastly, I got their Wild Nothing palette. This is actually what I went on their site for. I saw an ad for this on Instagram and I was like, yes. I just like immediately imagined a makeup look that I wanted to do with it, so I got it. But here is what this palette looks like. Just like all of these rich earthy tones and then I love this like sparkling green. That was like really the color that I was like, oh. I need it. So gonna do a makeup look with this coming up pretty soon. And then I also got in some clothing that I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, so here it is. I got some stuff from Idol Style, which is an online boutique started by a fellow YouTuber, Tiffany Trumulieris. I will link her channel down below as well as the shop website for you guys. But she reached out to me, asked if I would like some pieces from her shop. And of course I said yes, because the stuff was really, really cute. So I wanted to show you guys the pieces that I got. This first one, I'm just like obsessed with. This was the first thing that I put into my cart. And it is this like tiger queen 
graphic tee. It's so cute. It's cropped. I decided to go super, super oversized. I went for a large. It's like already designed to be oversized, but I went up a size to a large because I just wanted to be like super, super slouchy. But I love this, this graphic. I'm just like obsessed with and I can already think of like eight different outfits that I want to wear this with. So there's that one. Then I also got this really cute zebra cropped tank top. You guys, like I love it. For fall, I really feel like I want to wear a lot more like animal print, just like classic animal print. So I'm obsessed with this. I would love this with like a pair of black shorts or black jeans. I think that would be really, really cute. And it's also like this thicker kind of like sweater material. So it's perfect for that like fall transition that we're heading into, even though here in Southern California, it will not become fall weather until like December. It's fine. I'll sweat it out in the name of fashion. <laughs> And then lastly, oh, I'm obsessed with this one. This is so cute. So this is like a little jumpsuit and it's this like pink tie dye, but has like a scrunch top right here. So you can make it as small or as big as you want to. And then a little cutout. And then the pants are so fun. So it's all one piece, so cute. I would love to wear this out to lunch or brunch, just since we're doing like outdoor lunches and brunches right now. I think that this is perfect because it's nice and cool. It's lightweight, but really effortless and cute and easy to throw on. So I love this one, adorable. I cannot wait to wear it. But yeah, that was what I got from Idol Style. Again, I will make sure to link her channel and her shop down below in the description box. So make sure that you guys check that out. But anyways, I'm gonna get back to editing. I'm currently editing the Desi sunglasses video. So if you missed it, again, I feel like I've just like, this whole vlog has been me promoting that video. But seriously, if you missed it, watch it. And you guys, I just realized I'm a terrible cat mom. I didn't tell you guys on Monday, or at least I don't think I told you guys, on Monday, this guy right here turned 20 years old. This is a legit 20 year old cat, huh? You're just an old man, dude. That's why you scream all day. I'm going to regret waking you up, aren't I? You're going to start screaming. <laughs> but yeah, 20 years old. Next year you can have a shot. Huh? I'm going to go big for your 21st. <laughs> okay, so we just finished dinner with Trevor's mom. She got us chronic taco. And she left and we've been talking about Try this a little bit. And we've been talking about going to Costco this week or this weekend, and then we're like, it's gonna be crazy if we go Saturday or Sunday morning. So, figured a Friday night close to closing should be uh, you're clear, right? Thank you, should be fairly okay to go. So, we're gonna attempt it. Hopefully, this will be our first time going to Costco since before all this. I literally didn't pay attention to a word you said since we got in here. Not, I'm just being honest. Like, I sorry. I was saying, this is gonna be our first time going to Costco since this whole thing, right? Oh yeah, because yeah, we were, those lines terrified me. Yeah, we were refusing to go. So. Oh shit! What, Do you have your masks? Yeah, in? I oh, have okay. a ton of masks in here. Oh, the ones that I gave you. Stocked up, guys. Thanks to me. Just stocked up. <laughs> Not give me credit. Nope. <laughs> Okay, so we just got back, stopped and got some Baskin Robbins, but you guys, we spent $350 at Costco. <laughs> I will show you guys what we got. We're currently unloading the car right now. The cat is yelling, but I'll show you guys how we ended up spending almost $400 at Costco. Okay, so this is how you spend $350 at Costco. So we got a four pack of Cokes. These are for Trevor. We got this giant 30 can pack of Truly. I'm not usually a Truly drinker, but how much was this case? 30 Trulys for how much? 32. Yeah, for, yeah, like basically a dollar each for a Truly. I will drink Trulys. Then I got myself some collagen peptides from Vital Proteins. I'm gonna start adding collagen into my smoothies again. Some Tillamook medium cheddar some frozen shrimp. We use this a lot. We just throw it into like a salad or just like a quick bowl or something for some uh, protein. We got this giant pack of Chobani Greek yogurts, which 
are all for Trevor, so we'll see how he likes it, because he's never had Greek yogurt before, so I'll see. If he doesn't like those, I'll probably eat them. I've got a giant pack of the Three Berry Frozen Blend. You guys know this is what I use for my uh, smoothies. These were like, um, we were on a mission to get these. These are like Otter Pops, but they're alcoholic. This one is the Kirkland brand, and we had to ask a worker where they were, and once we asked her about these, she was like, oh my god, those are the best, and she was like totally hurrying to show us where they were. It's 8%. Yeah, it's 8% alcohol in each of these, but the flavors on these look really good. There's Lime Drop, Strawberry Freeze, and Watermelon Hibiscus. Then I got these. One of my favorite flavor mixes is dark chocolate and raspberry. So these are freeze-dried raspberries dipped in dark chocolate. I will have fun with those. Trevor got some Tylenol. We got this Woodford Reserve that was only like $34 or something like that, the double oat. So not a bad deal on that one. So that's like for sipping. Trevor wanted to try this wine. It's a red blend called the Big Easy. Trevor's obsessed with fish oil. So he got a bunch of those. Then I got this variety pack of the Popcorners chips. I love these. And this is the first time that I've seen a pack that has all three flavors that I will actually eat. So I jumped on that one. I got some Parmesan wisps. You guys know I'm obsessed with Parmesan, so need. Trevor got a couple of thermoses so that he can start taking his coffee into work in the mornings. When he starts going into work, he got some vitamin D. Then we got this pre-seasoned well, there's actually two slabs of ribs in here, St. Louis ribs. This was only $21 for two slabs of ribs, so we're excited. And then this is like one of my favorite pestos, the Kirkland basil pesto, so delicious. And then Trevor thinks this was unnecessary. I think it absolutely was. I got an Adidas sweatshirt. They had like these hoodies for like $17, so I was like, hell yeah, I got a men's large. It's summer. Shh. It's 93 degrees. It's gonna get cold. <laughs> and I, you don't need it It's right gonna now. get cold. It's, and these, I bet you these won't be there when it gets cold. It's California though. No, it gets cold. Shh. Go, no, it's not California. Go, go away. So I actually don't have any black hoodies. So I got myself a black Adidas hoodies. Again, my favorite athleisure wear brand. So I just, I couldn't pass that one up. But yeah, that is our ridiculously, unnecessarily expensive Costco run. But we will use any everything in here. So it was definitely worth it. All right, yeah. So basically we just calculated it. Probably about a hundred dollars was Alcohol? I'm Ron Burton. <laughs> Apparently we got what, like a hundred dollars worth of about alcohol? 100, 110 in just alcohol alone. Yeah, so it seems like alcoholics. Yeah, so that was a good amount of it and like we're not alcoholics, I promise, but you guys, you know, we like the occasional mm -hmm. cocktail. So all of that will end up lasting us like maybe a month or so. So we're not gonna be buying any more alcohol for the rest of the month versus we used to go and like grab a bottle of something once a week. So now this like covers us. For a while hey good morning you guys so i just like scrambled because trevor woke me up and he was like i'm going to the beach in 15 minutes if you want to come and i was like oh my god i still need coffee so that's what i'm doing right now we're going to the beach i'm just making myself a quick latte super fast oh my god we don't have any coffee cups so you guys this blueberry lavender flavored almond beverage but this is amazing by the way, sorry it's a mess behind me. We're still trying to figure out like what to do with all of the Costco stuff that we got because it's just like so much stuff and we don't have the room for it. But you know, obviously we got it. So we need to figure out what to do. Oh thank God. So for a latte, I usually just do about that much, just like a shot of espresso essentially. And then just all milk. Ooh, perfect. Okay then, I am gonna finish up this latte and then oh, we will see you guys at the beach. Okay, so we are on our way. We got the puppy in tow. Huh, Spart? Are we going to the beach? Are you on a car ride? <laughs> so cute. Boy, buddy, good boy. He is not happy. He's a big boy. I know. <laughs> Look at you go, look at you go, good boy! Good boy! Okay, we just got done. You did so good at the beach, buddy. We um, went and we were hanging out with our neighbors, actually, so getting him used to their new dog, and he did very, very well. 
he was not feeling swimming in the water mainly because so like usually we take him to the one in Huntington Beach and it's like a bunch of waves and stuff and he only goes in like maybe elbow high but that one there were no waves which was good but it's like once you get into the water it's a steep drop off and he tried to go in and like fell he expected something gradual so he was scared to go in for the rest of the time that's why Trevor had to keep like carrying him into the water so that we could get him like used to it and swim but he just was definitely not feeling at least going in the water in that beach and people don't leave your dog on a leash if it's around a group of dogs at like a park yeah it's the worst thing you could ever do yeah someone brought in their husky who clearly they didn't have good control over the husky and the husky kept getting like attacked by the other dogs and then it tried leash. to attack other dogs yeah so um luckily we kept spartacus way far away from that but we were watching it and we were like oh god this poor dog is gonna get like traumatized <laughs> there's signs that say don't leave your dog on leash for a reason yeah but now he's nice and tired and he'll sleep well tonight not that he's like a crazy energetic dog in general so really now he's just gonna be passed out the rest of the day okay so we are out at dinner right now i took trevor out to dinner because i'm filming a recreating celebrity outfits video and i'm like well we're gonna go out to dinner because i'm dressed up so we are heading to sevilla or sevilla it's like a little tapas restaurant that we've been wanting to try here in our The food was so, so good. If the you're staff order, was the best. Yeah, the staff was amazing. Everyone was so freaking nice to us. Like, we were just chatting with everyone. We were chatting with our server, the manager, uh -huh. the hostess. Everyone was so sweet there. The service was just, like, amazing. And then, yeah, the food, bomb. If you are into Spanish food and you're in Orange County, definitely go check it out. It's, it's called... Sevilla? Sevilla. Okay. And then... They also have locations in Long Beach and in San Diego. So if you're in those areas too, definitely look it up, see if it's near you and go because, oh my God, like the, the rice was so good. And I'm not just I talking about just like- I the rice by itself. Right? And I'm not even just talking about like the paella. Like they, our chicken came with a side of just regular rice. And even that on its own was so, so good. The veggies that came with the chicken, I couldn't stop eating it and then the churros were like a nice touch. It was like the legit Spanish ones where you get to dip it in hot chocolate. So overall. I didn't know that was how they normally do it yep. in Spain. Yeah. Highly recommend 12 out of 10, just like. 12 out of 10? Yeah. It was that good. So. Okay. <laughs> so, so Sarah failed math. Trevor, that's how you, when you're saying like it was exceptional. 10 out of 10? No, Trevor. Because that would tell me it's exceptional. Like, yeah, I'm saying like... Direct the people that say it's like 110%. You can't go over I'm 100%. I'm saying it's above exceptional. It's so, so good. And just go for it. Go for a full course. I enjoyed like the sangria flights as well. It was kind of fun getting to try different flavors of sangria. Just everything was impeccable. Yeah, I don't think we had even... Even the decor inside yeah. was amazing. Oh my God. And then if you go, you have to order the black truffle... Um, potato chips. I think that was my favorite. Ah, uh, no, the rice was my favorite, but the chips were my second favorite. I'm a chip fiend, so I just like about died at how good those chips were. They're made in house, 
just bomb.com. So again, Orange County, Long Beach, and San Diego. So <laughs> check them out. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because I'm gonna be in a food coma for the rest of the night. So I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video.